give me three adjectives to describe Martha Owl. Uh, dominating. Shot blocked by Martha Allwall again. Challenging. It's going to be a knockdown drag out, Martha. It has to be. Uh, trying. <laughs> I'm just a case to deal with. Like, I can be real. Like, like, I love the man, right? But, like, I don't know. Like, our personalities, like, clash sometimes. And I really, sometimes I have my moments where I really don't, like, I don't want to say not listen, but just, like, I kind of, like, I don't know. The challenge uh, on the court is to get her to bring it every day and bring it every night. Because if, if she would ever do that, you and I, no one has seen what her top end could be. When I was three years old, my mother and I immigrated to the United States of America from Africa, Sudan, to be exact. I started playing in fifth grade at my Christian school. So you're kind of forced to play because there wasn't that many people there. And I used to hate basketball, believe it or not. It wasn't until the summer going to my senior year where I actually took basketball seriously. That's when I realized I was kind of decent at it and that I had a chance to play at the next level. Uh, I was at an AAU tournament uh, in Orlando and uh, Martha was playing with the Minnesota team. You saw a great athlete run up and down the floor. You know, she could face up and shoot. Um, saw her a little bit back to the bucket, but basically running the floor and some good length. Uh, saw someone who could alter shots, rebound, and a good athlete. So uh, at that point, decided we needed to pursue and find out a little bit more about her. Well, I had the chance to play college volleyball too. And I was really obsessed with volleyball for the longest time, so I didn't know which I wanted to do, but after playing AAU with North Tartan, I realized that basketball was the route I wanted to take. She had been taught well. She understood the game. She could pass. Um, she seemed like she played the game one play ahead, and defensively, she helped her teammates and could communicate on the floor. Well, I found out my freshman year that I wasn't as good as I thought I was. Like, come, before coming in here, I thought I was gonna be amazing and I was gonna be all this. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do all this stuff, whatever. And I quickly realized that that's not the case. I got yelled at all the time. I wasn't as big, like in high school, I was just bigger than everyone. I, then I came on this team and there were like three seniors that were about my height and everyone's faster. And it's just, the speed of the game was just so much quicker. So it took, it took a lot for me to adjust. Initially, I think leaving home for any student athlete, um, even the ones who are closer, it's an adjustment, but especially that far because uh, Martha had a large family and she was very involved with siblings in terms of sort of helping raise them. And uh, so it was a very difficult adjustment, I think, initially being away from home. But Mississippi State was a great fit for her. I don't think anybody thought when we got her she'd be first team and co-defensive player of the year her junior year in the biggest baddest conference in the country. It was so tough. Like when I tell you, I used to go home crying all, like, all the time. It was so serious. Like he was, I thought he was mean to me, but like I didn't realize that like, he saw something in me. He was constantly on me all the time. And I took that the wrong way. Like now I realize that when he gets on in me, it's because he wants the best out of me. You know that there's a real desire there to succeed and um, encouragement was important. Uh, being in constant communication relative to expectations and, and how this was going to take place. You know, we're in the kid business and, and I love Martha Outwall, um, uh, almost to, to a fault. Coach Schaefer, like, he's more than just a coach to me. I say to the girls all the time, like, I love that man. Like, as much as he can get under my skin sometimes, like, I know that he wants the best for me and he's constantly telling me, like, I'm hard on you, but, like, I'm... He always tells me that he's always, he will always be one of my biggest supporters and one of my biggest fans, and he is. Whenever I do something bad, he's on me. Whenever I do something great, he's cheering me on. He is kind of like a father figure for me. She's like my own daughter, you know, your own kids sometimes. You, you, um, you, you have to stay on them and you have to discipline, but also sometimes you, you, uh, you can be a little soft with them. And uh, she, she strikes my soft spot every now and then because I love the kid. He just cares so much, just not, not about just like basketball, Martha, but just like my everyday life. He's constantly, if, if something's wrong, like what's going on? I don't want to talk, but tell me what's wrong, I want to know. And he cares just so much about what's going on in my life. And just whenever you have a coach that is like that, that's just amazing. And I think coaches like that are hard to come by. And I'm really, really lucky that my head coach is someone that I can go to whenever I need something or just want to talk. She's made me a better coach. Um, you know, with the challenging things that she's brought to the table for three years with me, she's certainly made me a better coach. And uh, 
Um, and and I, I've been, our good times have been really good. I think I have a really fun personality, but that's only like when I know you because I'm an introvert. Yeah, that's that part of it. You know, she's fun loving. She's, a, you know, she's just a, you know, can be just a really happy kid. She loves her teammates. She's very loyal. Um, she's a people person. It takes a lot to get under my skin. I mean, few, very few things do get to me, and I am really giggly all the time. I wish I could be a little more serious sometimes, but it's just who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. I'm sorry. I don't play that. I'm a great dancer and I'm I have really good people skills. I'm a pretty talented individual. They're haters. They're haters. Don't listen to them. They're trying to bring me down. Don't listen to them. I'm talented, I swear I can sing. We 18 and no. That's said. We are 18. That's her, that's her second time. I thought it was pretty good. I'm a talented singer. Hey, 18 her singing is disrespectful. <laughs> <laughs>